Ladies and gentlemen, now for something a bit more exotic. Please, will you welcome onto the stage the undisputed Les Dennis of the Middle East, Omid Jalili. Good evening, are you okay? What I'm hearing is nothing. What I'm sensing is you better be funny, you fat ethnic monkey boy, Middle Eastern. <laughs> now, okay. I am the serious part tonight. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here uh, on behalf of a United Nations Security Council comedy cultural exchange program. <laughs> tonight, I am here and Jim Davidson is having his buttocks thrashed in Baghdad. <laughs> and uh, even then, people are asking for their money back, I tell you. <laughs> Hard to please the Iraqi audience. Now, I am a... Good evening, everyone. I am from Iran, and uh, in fact, uh, I'm the only um, Iranian comedian in the world, uh, has to be said. Uh, <laughs> thank you. That's technically three more than Germany. Now, I know, easy target, but well executed. And, uh, thank you. Keep the laughter coming. It helps with my asylum application that's going through. But you see, love me now, love me forever. But I'm here um, to dispel a few conceptions about the Middle East. That, number one, we don't like pop music. We do like pop music. Uh, it's just we get... The Arab mindset cannot... They, they, we don't have the capacity for S Club 7. No. I try to sing, I get a bit confused, you know, like, you know, don't stop, never give up, hold your head high and reach the top, the creamiest milk, the lightest bar, the goodness that's in Milky Bar. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'm so glad you're laughing. You know, most people associate the Middle East with oil and phlegm and halitosis. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, we're running out of oil. But the, I have to say, You got a close-up there. I have to tell you that I, I, I speak out against all the fundamentalists who are making out that you are the satanic West. Come on, look, it's not for the people, not for the West, people like me. I would not have an education. I was educated in uh, West London. Two years, I was sent to the Feltham Young Offenders Institute. <laughs> I studied brutality and Borstal. And I got a job at PC World Brentford. <laughs> you see, My name is Michael Kine, not a man of people knew that. <laughs> yes, I do impressions uh, as well. I, f I think we'll find that one is spot on. And <laughs> but I don't care, you see, do you think I care? Some of you are not laughing. I don't care if you don't laugh. Do you think it matters? Royal Ver I don't care! One bit! Because if you don't laugh, I will cover it with belly dancing. <laughs> My next impression is Godzilla, yes, Godzilla, having his toe stepped on. You're a tough crowd. Belly dance. My next impression is Godzilla having a bad dream. You're the most jaded audience I've seen all my life. Belly dance! And now to prove that Jimmy Savile is a devout Arab Muslim. Now then, now then, mm, mm, mm. Now then, now then, mm, mm, mm. Now then, now then, mm, mm, mm. Oh, 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 Akbar! <laughs> okay, no belly dance then. Okay, actually, well, there, you go, there you go. There's the Arab section out of the way. Um, no, I don't talk about that one bit. Um, <laughs> some of you know that already, but uh, I know for some of you it comes as such a surprise. Uh, <laughs> no, that's just a, 
It's just a little ethnic ruse I do because uh, I could be doing a very hardline political statement about racial stereotype, but the truth is the Arab thing gets a few big laughs and people love me, so why rock the boat? Um, <laughs> and the truth is, look, comedy is about being honest, okay? So I like to be honest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, the reason why I'm here is, is I used to be a management consultant. <laughs> and uh, that's true. And someone at the office like, told me I was really funny, you know? Uh, so I thought I'd give it a crack, you know, just give it a bit of comedy, and, uh, and I'll tell you what, it's going really well. <laughs> and, yeah, and I was, uh, I was never the funniest guy at the office, I was actually the second funniest bloke, because my mate Keith, who's an accounts, <laughs> nuts, he, he's mad. Breathe, focus, focus move on. Um, okay. So, great to be here. Um, I, I feel since September 11th, people looked at me in a very different way, uh, to be absolutely honest. And, and these are really kind of sweet, middle class, middle aged, ethnically aware people um, in West London who used to be my fans have now turned against me. You know, when I say ethnically aware, I mean people who are so ethnically aware they pronounce anything ethnic with the correct accent. Have you seen this? People say, uh, oh, you should go and see that Japanese uh, theatre company, Dozu, Dozu, Shinpai Arimasen theatre company. It's really good. And, What's that, uh, what's that Spanish dance company? The Spanish, the dance thing. What's it called? The, that's right, the Oye Emilio, que era cosa le calabar, porque me es también dance workshop. Uh, really good. Uh, and what's that, what's that uh, Nigerian company? The Umtetswe Kile Ile Wala. What is going on? I don't believe it. Theatre company, eh, eh. From Lagos, really experimental. <laughs> and these people look at me in a different way, you know, you know and I, I felt it's, it's, it's a real shame because I've been doing lots of, you know, anti-racism comedy workshops for Millwall Football Club. And uh, <laughs> I feel, if you don't know what I do, I do, you know, ethnic minorities sharing their culture with, with the youth. We had me, Iranian comic, we had uh, uh, a Cuban juggler, we had an Indian bingo caller from Southall, which is just fantastic. Uh, insisted on giving a practical demonstration. He says, okay, everyone, get your cards ready, and uh, here we go. Kebab, well done, number one. <laughs> hot, hot, vindaloo, 22. <laughs> Chutney, writer, papadam, naan, who's at the door, 44. <laughs> this is a... Uh... This is going really well, by the way, just keep it going. Um, <laughs> they won't believe me in the office. Um... <laughs> It's a non-offensive racial game we were, you know, encouraging people to play at home, like make up a number and make it rhyme and like there's things like, you know, like import, export, cash and carry, send by truck or send by ferry, acha, send it by freight, 88. <laughs> but the thing is, if, if, if we're trying to fight prejudice, we, you know, I, I, I think it's, it's the, I have no problem with America, I think it's Americans who've had a problem with me. I did a show, uh, I was in, uh, I did a show on Broadway actually, in New York. Actually, it was just off-Broadway. Um, actually, it was off-off-off-Broadway. Uh, it was a curry festival in New Jersey, all right? But, you know, a, a gig's a gig! I felt the prejudice was very, very strong, you know. I did a three-night run. On the first night, the guy gets up, he goes, he goes, he goes, Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! We got a fat, limey, Iranian hump. Hey, buddy, you, you fly in from where? Bongo, bongo land, huh? And you trying to make me laugh? What am I, a putz? Hey, what do you want to do? Take a few hostages, you big fat tub of lard. Hey, you take your itsy witsy, Iranian ass, you get the hell out of here! <laughs> and that was passport control, I tell you. <laughs> really? Hey. Hey, hey. Did you see that? I took you one way and I revealed something else, you know? That stormed the Christmas party, I swear. I, I was so popular for January, half of February, kind of tailed off in March, inexplicably, I don't, I don't know why. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, you have to understand the Middle East is not just about terrorism. We have to, so just to remind you, the Middle East, we like, we've been sharing with you philosophies. His Royal Highness knows philosophy, mysticism, and spirituality. We've been sharing this with you for many years. And if we don't feel, you know, appreciated, you know, we get into a terrible mental spiral where we think, why? Why should we share? We think, because we must share philosophies in the West because people need it. Think, why? Is it because they're unhappy? Why? Because they drink, they take drugs, they don't care about their spiritual welfare. We think, why? Is it because they're empty? Why? Because they don't have God. Why? Because they don't need Him. Why? Because they're actually quite happy. <laughs> why? Because they drink, they take drugs. And, uh, <laughs> 
How did that happen? But ladies and gentlemen, I, I feel duty-bound by my culture to share with you some Iranian philosophy tonight for you to take home with you. This is very, very spiritual, and, and thank you very much for having me. You've been a lovely audience, but I have to say, I, I was tremendous. Uh, but Moses is really good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, a bit of philosophy for you to take home, and that's this. <clears throat> Thirty-three. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night. Good night, Bobby.